Anthony's vlog. It is June 21st, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's June 21st, 2016. And I have, as you can see, Harold here in front of me. The reason being is that I am soon going to be going to the home that he used to live at along with two other of the souls that are trapped in the doll. But I'll talk about that later. Uh, the primary reason why I wanted to record this is because I went to the storage unit to go get the doll and stopped off at a Walmart for no particular reason, at least I thought, and I ran into these... Uh, Maglite flashlights. If you watched some of my other videos, you know that I've done experiments with these Maglite flashlights, and there's my dog Chance. And the flashlight just came on. By the way, for those of you who are going to write and say that I've got them rigged in some way, shape, or form, I don't. Let me see if I can just, there we go. So, I was going to say that the last time I bought a couple of these, I wasted almost 40 bucks because apparently they have a new, more powerful or something flashlight, and it just didn't work. Well, it did, but uh, it was hard to explain why I say it didn't work. Uh, the, the communication just wasn't happening. And so, right over here I have one of Vincent's original pieces of artwork. This piece of evidence is in my book. And if you look at the upper left, you'll see what Vincent said was watching him over his room. And the lower left is a doll which happens to be this doll right here. And when I asked Vincent's mom to ask him about the doll, that's when he said, it's not a real doll, mommy. It wants you to think it's a real doll, but it's not, it wants you to think it's a, I th how did he put it? It's not a girl's doll, mommy. He wants you to think it's a real doll, but it's not, it has a black heart. So, I don't know if you caught that. Flashlight turned on, turned back off. So I'm going to, uh, I thought I'd just do a little recording here and do a little Q&A. But as I mentioned, there are at least four souls trapped within a doll. And to answer the question, why do I still have the doll? That's the reason why I'm still trying to find out what's going on with those souls how they were imprisoned in the doll, and what can be done about it. So, having said that, Harold, are you willing to talk to me? Now, I know your name is not really Harold, but if you're willing to talk to me, would you please turn the flashlight on? Thank you. Okay, would you turn it off? Turn it off so I can ask you another question. What if I say please? There we go. Thank you. All right, so Harold, I have been told by Vincent that there are actually four souls, you and three others, the psychic medium on Ghost Adventures, mentioned five spirits. I believe the fifth spirit to be the demon that actually owns the doll, which is what I learned from this particular drawing after I bound you into the doll, forcing the demon to show himself. So, the, according to the demon, uh, 
from what I've heard from my friend Ken Murray, there are actually more than four spirits in prison in the doll. Is that true? If it's true, turn the light on. Okay, turn the light off, please. Turn the light off. Thank you. Now I want to ask you another question. Is that you in the derby? in this picture? If it is, turn the light on for me. Okay. I'd like to speak to the young lady to the left in this picture. Would you please talk to me? If you're able to talk to me, please turn the light on. Okay, thank you. Would you turn it off so I can ask you another question? Please turn the light off. If you don't turn, there we go. I was going to say, if you don't turn it off, one of the reasons why I have a another flashlight here. I'm actually going to buy two more as I'm going to set them up so I have four to talk to each one of you. But here's what I'd like to ask. I'm going to what I believe is your home soon. Are you really the person that I think you are along with your sister, along with your younger sister? Is that you? I'm hoping I'm making sense here. What I want to know is if I'm correct about you living in the home that I'm going to, along with your uncle, who now calls himself Harold. If that's true, please turn the light on. Awesome. That's what I wanted to know. Please turn the light off. Please turn it off. Thank you. Okay. So one of the questions I'm asked frequently is why do I keep the doll if it's so dangerous, if it's demonic, if it's everything I say? Because, again, according to Vincent, there are four souls in prison within the doll. This particular drawing was done by my friend Melanie Lystra, who owns Dutch Girl of New Mexico, and it was a vision that she saw. And I actually sent just the man in the derby to Vincent's mom to ask her to show Vincent, but not say anything, just put it somewhere where he could see it. And she sent back pictures where Vincent had crumpled it up, thrown it in the trash, and poured the chocolate pudding he was having for breakfast all over the picture. So apparently he did recognize who this was. I'm not sure why that light turned on. Because I will say I was just thinking that to me it confirms that it's Harold. Okay, you can turn the light off, please. Thank you. All right, so Harold, and I know your real name. In fact, am I correct when I say I know your real name? 
If I am, turn the light on. Okay, to the young lady I was just talking to, to the left in this picture, and again, I know your name. Would you turn the light on, if I'm correct, about Harold's real identity? Okay. Now, maybe it's just me, but I'm taking no answer as an answer, and that answer is yes. Because I can imagine... Ah, is that what that is? Thank you. All right, well, I'll post another vlog here in a few days when I get to the home that I've been telling you about. I won't be showing the home, by the way, because I don't want to create another Amityville house uh, Perone Farm situation where people show up unannounced, unexpected, unwanted, uninvited and start harassing the homeowners. But when I get there, I'm hopefully going to tape an interview with somebody there to confirm some of what I believe from hopefully an expert on the family history. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments below. And God bless. Take care until we talk again.